Hi, it's Dan here from Flexible, and today we're gonna to talk about short.io. Let's dive in. Okay, so we're a big advocate of short.io. We've been using it for years inside our agency, and it works great for a number of different reasons. And today I've asked Graham to do a quick video for you on three reasons why we use short.io and how you can implement them yourself. So without further ado, I'll pass you over to Graham. Enjoy. Hey guys, thanks Dan. Um, so yeah, so just quickly, before I show you how to set up short.io, I wanted to go through why that is very important that you, you do use it with your marketing, uh, especially if you're sending email campaigns or SMS campaigns, um, especially SMS campaigns with uh, short links in them. Um, so we'll get on to the first thing. So, so why short.io? So first, first and foremost, um, it's brilliant um, for your email deliverability. Um, so for example, if you're putting in certain links to uh, blogs or outside of your kind of domain content that is basically on your email domain. So for example, we send emails from dan.wardrobe at flexdigital.com. If we're sending links that aren't on flexdigital.com, um, having short.io create a short link on your actual domain that sends it to that link um, is gonna be way better for um, recognition in the email um, providers like Gmail, Yahoo, all that kind of stuff. So it helps your, your emails basically stay out of the spam box. Um, so that's one thing that we found it's been very important doing. Um, then to get onto the SMS campaigns. So obviously you, uh, if you follow us at all, you know we're doing a lot of stuff with AI and SMS. Um, and right at the start when we were doing it, we were using kind of bit.ly links, hourly links to try and shorten down these really like nasty affiliate links or big, big calendar calendar links. Um, and we were using Bitly at first, but then we kind of found that it was either getting um, blocked by the carrier or people were clicking on it and their kind of like internet filters were blocking Bitly links uh, because I think a lot of, a lot of um, obviously scammers have used Bitly before. Um, so now it's kind of seen as more of a risky, risky short link. Whereas when we started using short.io, which is housed on your own uh, subdomain, on your domain, um, it massively improved um, the deliverability of your SMS uh, and people are a lot more li likely to click on it. So for example, if, if an SMS comes through saying, hey, it's down here from Flexible, um, da, 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 and then you get a link further in the SMS chat that is from flexible.com, it's much more congruent. Um, people aren't gonna worry about clicking on it. Um, as much because obviously it's a branded link and they recognize it compared to a bit.ly where anything could be behind that link. Um, so it has been uh, very good. Telecom providers are also less likely to block it. Um, if the link you're sending out is on the domain that you've used to set up your A2P verification, if you're in the US. So obviously when you verify your A2P, um, you have to put uh, your kind of website in and where your um, SMS opt-in content uh, pages on and if the links that you're sending out uh, the domain matches that domain then it's a lot more trustworthy to the telecom providers and the carriers um, so it also enhances your brand visibility so instead of using bitly or hourly it actually has your brand on it um, your domain so people are more likely to click on those links as I've touched on before uh, because they recognize it it's more trustworthy um, and it just basically performs much better than these other kind of like random letters, links kind of thing. And they look a lot less spammy. Um, I don't know if uh, you get them a lot, but we get a lot of uh, SMSs sent through, emails sent through um, on social media, on Facebook and all that kind of stuff. You see a lot of these hourlies, bitlies, these other short links um, companies that look a lot riskier, I would say, because it's just a lot of uh, numbers and letters um, and it doesn't look very clickable to me. Whereas if you see, uh, say like for ours, when we use short.io, it's link.flexible.com and then forward slash and then say offer. Um, that looks like a normal link to me. So I'm more likely to click that link because it's, it feels like it's less disguised. Whereas with Bitly and Hourly, you don't know what content you're clicking on. There's no kind of readable word on there. Um, and it feels a bit less disguised. Uh, even though it is still a short link, it feels less disguised. You, you, you can click on it with more confidence knowing that you're clicking on something that you want to click on. 
And also short.io has a really good an analytics in, in the back end. So for all your links, you can check, um, kind of like measure the clicks, kind of where they are in the world, device types and other things, which I'll, which I'll get onto and show you um, when I get into the back end of short.io in a sec. Um, and you can use all this to kind of um, find your new marketing uh, strategies. I mean, I know, I know most of you probably have your own um, tracking stuff um, going on, but um, it's good to kind of know like how many people have clicked on a certain link from a certain campaign. Um, because we'll have short .io links pretty much every YouTube video we put out. Um, so yeah, that's basically why I think people should be using short .io for their short links. Um, I know there's um, there's loads of other people out there, but this has really really worked well for us, especially when it comes to SMS deliverability and email del deliverability. Um, so hopefully that kind of gives you an understanding of why you should be using this. Um, and now I'm going to go and get into the back end and show you how to set it up, add your domain, all that kind of stuff. So let's get going. So this is a short.io website. So we're going to come to short.io. I'm going to go click get started. Okay, let's try this one. Cool. And that should be good. Let's try that. Cool, so we've created our account here. I'm just gonna save my password in there. Save, cool. So you can start, you can do it for free. Now, if we just go and have a look at the pricing, just to show you, um, we have never paid for a short .io. We use the um, free version and it's, uh, it's good enough for us. Uh, if you look here, so you can see you'll get one user on the free version, you'll get five custom domains you, you can add. Most people will only use one or two for their agency stuff. If you do it for clients, you may need more. Um, but yeah, you get five on the free plan. You can make a total of a thousand branded links. Um, so there's plenty of links available. Um, you can do link automation, which we don't really use. It's more just creating links uh, for SMS campaigns and our social content. Uh, redirects, so you can kind of see tracks, 50, 50, um, 50 clicks on the analytics. So then you can go through and see if you actually want uh, to pay for it or not. We don't, we just have the free version. Um, so next up, you're gonna want to go and set up a domain. So um, let's go add my own domain. Now we normally, um, one sec, let's just confirm this email. There we go, it should be done now. Um, so normally we go uh, link, well, what are we using? I think I'm doing beyond this one, beyond this one, let's see. So it's just one of our brands we used to have back in the day. I'll use this one, um, beyond, hopefully I, hopefully I spelled that right. Insolvency uk then. So you want to make sure that you have your domain here and you want the subdomain in front of it as well. So that's link dot. That's what we use. You can use go dot. You can use anything that you want as this little bit here. It literally can be anything. Make it short though. Um, so I'm going to add the domain. So let's click up here. It should say you need to configure your domain. If you don't see this, just refresh the page. Uh, press configure and then press confirm. Now it knows it's connected to uh, Cloudflare, so it's kind of um, bringing this through. Um, so I'm gonna press authorize. And now I wanna just refresh. Can take a bit of time. Uh, if we come on here and refresh our Cloudflare, I'm just gonna go check and see if that's been added into the back end of Cloudflare. If not, you can do it manually. So you, you want to go to your, wherever you house your website. So this could be GoDaddy, it could be WordPress, could be Wix, could be Cloudflare. Depends where you house your actual domain settings. You want to go and find the DNS records. You can go in and see this. So as you can see, we've got um, this. I'm just going to change that to auto. Actually, I'm just going to leave it as, as it is. I shouldn't really touch it. Um, so as you can see, we've got a few here. So we've got a link. So it's been added naturally. If uh, you don't have this option or it's not working, you can come in here and you can create a record and you'll want to just go to CNAME. Uh, you'll just want to do whatever you've put as the bit before 
your domain, just put that into the name required. So ours was link.beyondinsolvency.co.uk. So all I type in is link. As you can see, it shows it here, link.beyond.blah.blah.blah is an alias. Okay, and the target, so what you'll need to do is you'll just need to uh, type this in if you can't see it, which is cname dot short .io. It'll be the same for everyone. That's it was basically pointing this subdomain to the app short .io. Don't need it proxied. If you don't have the option, it doesn't matter, and you can have it as auto. And you just want to save that. And then once that's on there, you can come back to here and refresh. And you, as you can see, DNS type A pointed to correct IP address. So that is now active. We can now use this domain. Um, so let's just go to this one here. It is all good. Seal domains. Let's just refresh. That should say configured now. Let's just double check. Configured. Perfect. So next up, we're going to go to branded links. Now here you can just create a link. So for example, say you've got a blog page. So let's have a look at one of our blogs. Go on to here. So we've got, say we're sending out a SMS or an email pointing to a blog. Um, you wouldn't necessarily need to use it if this domain matches your email domain, but our email domains are flexdigital.com. This is for a flexible.com. So we would use a short .io link for this to make sure that email deliverability is better. Um, so you would just go and paste in your URL here. That will create a pop-up box. So it's link.beyondinsolvency.co.uk. And then you can just do um, SMS. Uh, whatever you want to call it. The idea of a short link is that it's going to be short. So let's just call it. So you can just do blog one. Save that. Then you can go in and customize. Now here's where you can um, create it. So. So you know what these links are used for. Um, and then you can go and add in like UTM parameters, which will have to be static, they're not, they're not dynamic, but so for example, you could do that and then medium and so on and so forth. Press save, uh, you, then you can go and press this button to copy. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna paste that in there, press enter, and that will do the redirect to your blog. Um, all of the telecom providers and the email um, providers as well will see this link. They'll think that, okay, that matches your email domain, that matches the website that you've set up with your A2P for SMS. Um, that looks good to me. They'll send it. Someone's going to look at that and be like, okay, I recognize this company here. I've spoken to them before. Uh, it's not a, just a random letters and numbers. Um, I know that it's pointing to a blog. So it's a lot more trustworthy. I'm going to click on it and it's going to take me through um, to this page. Okay. Um, so it is very easy to set up as you saw how quick, quick it was. Very simple. Um, then the next up, you, you, you can do uh, the analytics of the link. If you click on the, that button there, so you can kind of see what, when it was created on uh, the amount of redirects that's happened by humans. Um, and then you kind of see where the countries, the cities, so I'm in Brighton, the United Kingdom, so it's pulling that out. Uh, you can see it's Chrome, Windows. So we don't tend to use the analytics too much, but if we're doing a campaign, it's interesting to see how many link clicks you get onto this link. Um, especially if you're doing SMS marketing, it's hard to kind of gauge that. So if you send out a short link, you'll be able to track how many people click that link from your SMS um, campaign in here, which is pretty cool. Email marketing tracks that quite well. SMS marketing doesn't really track it that well, I don't think. Um, so that's pretty cool. Then you can kind of go on domain statistics here, and this will tell you everything you need to know um, for the domain. But it says no statistics show. This is what it will, it will look like. I think it needs a little bit more data to um, to come through for this. Um, so you can see on the domain, the, the, this will be across all short links. You can kind of see who's clicking where, very similar to what I've showed you here. Um, and that's kind of what we use it for. Uh, it's very simple to set up. So yeah, guys, if you haven't, I would get an account, get a free account, get your domain in there uh, and start building. Um, thanks a lot for watching guys. Really appreciate it. And I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.
Thanks, Graham. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed the video today. I just wanna let you know we've got a new book out. It's called The Instant AI Agency. I'd really appreciate your support. There's a link below, check it out. I'll speak to you soon, take care.